Volga, Ivy Masters Learning Center, and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 21st question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1. This is from the Blue Book app, number 21. The question reads Which choice completes a text that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Good idea to read the question first. When you look at the answer choices, what you notice is that you've got a semicolon in both answer choice C and D. And so what I'm going to do, as soon as you see the semicolon, um, there is one use for the semicolon that I was only tested once on the SAT to be, at least on any of the release tests, it's to act as a strong comma. But uh, that usage on SAT is so rare. Typically when you see a semicolon on SAT, you want to make sure there's an independent clause before and after. Independent clause meaning something that could be its own sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read up to antiquity, see if that could be its own sentence. And then I'm going to read after, however, see if that could be its own sentence. That's going to help me to eliminate at least two answer choices. Here goes during the English neoclassical period from 1616 to 1789. Many writers imitated the epic poetry and satires of ancient Greece and Rome. They were not the first in England to adopt the literary modes of classical antiquity. And then you ask yourself, could that be its own sentence? Yes, it can. The subject is they, the verb is were, and it is a complete thought. Those are the three things to check for to see if you've got an independent clause, something that could be its own sentence. Now I'm going to read from after the however, from sum to the end. Some of the most prominent figures of the early Renaissance period were also influenced by ancient Greek and Roman literature. And you ask yourself, could that be its own sentence? And the answer is yes. Um, the subject is actually some of the most prominent figures is a prepositional phrase of the early Renaissance period is a prepositional phrase. Subject is some, verb is were, and again, it's a complete thought. Some were also influenced by the ancient Greek and Roman literature. So in that case, correct answer cannot be A, and it cannot be B. So um, we could say B is an example of a comma splice. When you've got a comma in the middle of the sentence, you cannot have an independent clause before and after. It's called a comma splice. It's a type of run-on sentence. Another question you might ask yourself is, hey, could however combine two independent clauses? And the answer is no. However cannot combine two independent clauses. If it could, like fanboys, for, and, but, or, so, uh, yet, um, and then there's others that are not included in fanboys, like while and because. All of those are coordinating conjunctions. They can combine two independent clauses. However, for example, they cannot combine two independent clauses. So A and B are gone, and then you're left with C and D. And the difference between those answer choices is where should the however be? And the, the however should actually be coupled with the first clause. So when I see however in between two independent clauses or when I see for example in between two independent clauses on the SAT this is the last thing that kind of gets a lot of students here is that students will almost always couple the however with the second clause rather than the first one so the examples I've seen on SAT the however the for example should be coupled with the first clause in other words a semicolon should come after the however the answer choice C is correct um, there's nothing wrong with putting a however or for example on the end of an independent clause. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with identifying sentence fragments or comma splices or does not know that however cannot combine two independent clauses or doesn't know what a comma splice is or doesn't know how a semicolon is used or doesn't know that you could end an independent clause with however or for example. Is there any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.